Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You may remember that four or five months ago, I did a video demoing what was at that time a new feature in the current version of Photoshop that allowed us to get tremendously better selections. The thing though, in order to take advantage of that feature, we had to have an internet connection and we had to send our image up to Adobe servers. Now though, there is a new feature that currently is in the beta version of Photoshop that allows us to get those same great selections, but we don't need an internet connection and we do not need to send our image up to Adobe servers. In today's video, I'm going to demo it. Now, to refresh your memory, I have this image. I'm in the current version of Photoshop. And again, the, this new feature isn't yet in the current version of Photoshop, but I expect it to be very soon. And let's say I want to get a selection of the bike. What I would do is I would pick any selection tool by tapping the W key on my keyboard. If you tap the W key, you'll get one of these three selection tools, and it doesn't matter which one you have active. When you have one of those tools active, at the top, you'll have Select Subject. What you can do is go to this little downward arrow and click on device. So we don't need an internet connection. We're not going to send this image up to Adobe servers. We're going to do our selection on our computer using just our computer. So we'll click select subject. And you'll notice that within a second or two, we have a selection. And just glancing at it, I guess it looks kind of good. Well, let me show you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate just the selected parts of this image by hitting command J on my Mac. Then I'm going to turn off the background layer. And when I do that, you can see that the selection wasn't very good at all. We're missing most of the spokes. We're missing part of the saddle. We're missing part of the chain. A lot of the bike is missing. So this was a lousy selection. Now, let me go back right where we started uh, by going to the history panel and going to open. Now, as I mentioned, four or five months ago, there was a way, though, to get a better selection. It's still in Photoshop today. So we're still in the current version of Photoshop. I still have any of the selection tools, in this case, the quick selection tool, but again, it doesn't matter. But I'll go to this little downward arrow and I'll go to cloud. So I'm going to send the image up to Adobe servers to do this. And this was what was improved four or five months ago when I did that video. And you'll notice then it took a little longer because the image had to go up to Adobe to get done. And we have a selection. And if I just duplicate the selected parts of this image by again hitting Command J and turn off the bottom layer, you can see it's a great selection. It did a really good job. It has all the spokes. It has all the saddle. It has all the chain. It looks pretty much perfect. But I mentioned we now can get the same selection in the beta version of Photoshop without sending the image up to Adobe servers. So let's go to the beta version of Photoshop. Let's again get any of the selection tools. Just tap the W key. Go up to this little downward facing arrow. Make sure we're using the device. Quicker results. So device. We're not sending it up to Adobe servers and I really don't need an internet connection now. Just click select subject. All the work is being done on my computer. I have a selection. I'll hit command J to duplicate the selected parts. Turn off the bottom layer and look, it's a perfect selection. We have all the spokes, we have the chain, we have all the saddle. It's a perfect selection. So I expect this feature to show up in the current version of Photoshop very soon because you can see it's working very well. But let's go to another image that often we're working with people, right? So I'm gonna to go to the current version of Photoshop. And we have this image of these ladies. And let's say that I want to clip out the ladies and put them in a different scene. So what I would do, again, get any selection tool, just tap the W key. And I don't want Adobe to get this image. I don't want them to see it. So I want to keep it on my device. And we'll click Select Subject. And we're going to get the marching ants going around the women. So we have a selection. Let's duplicate the selected parts by hitting Command J. Let's turn off that bottom layer. And you can see we're missing part of her hand. It didn't select in here, didn't select in here. Um, it just isn't a great selection. Let's go to the beta version of Photoshop. Let's go to that same exact image. We have a selection tool. It does again, doesn't matter which one. We'll go here and we're going to go device, quicker results. We'll click select subject. And now it's staying on my computer. Now I'm going to duplicate the selected parts by hitting Command J on my Mac. Turn off that bottom layer. 
And you can see it's better. It's still not perfect, though. All right, it's better. It has all of her hand. Overall, their hair looks a little better. Hers looks maybe a little funky, but it's better. It's missing, again, this part and this part. So if I compare to the um, current version of Photoshop, again, we're missing, let's fit this to screen, but hit Command-0. You can see it's missing in here and in here and missing her hand. You can see their hair. And then we go over to the beta version, and it has all of her hand. Their hair looks a little better, I think, and still missing these parts in here. So it's not perfect. It's still, you need to work on this, but it is better um, overall. Now, you may be wondering, what if I go to the current version of Photoshop, and I go to the history panel and go back to open, and instead of using the device, I use the cloud, and I do a selection. So you don't need the beta version to do this. And then we duplicate the um, selected parts by hitting Command-J again, turn off that bottom layer, and you can see that it's pretty much um, the same as the beta version, but not quite, right? Look at it did get in here and it did get in here. So if you don't have the beta version of Photoshop and you don't want to load it on your computer, you can get still better results if you go to this little downward arrow and click on cloud. So the cloud still gives you better results. And if I go to the beta version here and I go back to the history panel and I go back to open and I make sure that I'm using cloud, even in the beta version, and I select the subject and I duplicate the selected parts by hitting command J and I turn off that bottom layer, you could see that it's the same. So the bottom line, is that select subject on your device in the beta version is much improved over select subject on device in the current version, but it's still not as good as select subject in the cloud. It's close, but it's not there yet. But I still expect this to show up into the current version of Photoshop very soon, and hopefully they improve it to the point where it's just as good as the cloud version. But as you can see, it just falls a little bit short. So that's it for today's video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.